Hello there and welcome back to our Phoenix Point playthrough with the Blood and Titanium DLC. We've got a couple of different missions that we could undertake here though. The one we're probably going to tackle next is the Pandoran uh, Nest that we have very close to our base. We'll try and get rid of that if we can. We do still have a mission to uh, attack a new Jericho Haven in order to continue the Blood and Titanium DLC. We will do that probably after this one, mostly because I'd like, ideally, to get our um, sniper recovered a little bit because we do have uh, we have a second sniper, and I think going and doing that mission with two snipers uh, would be better than having the technician potentially. In the meantime, we could also go over to this haven and recruit ourselves a, another assault soldier, which probably isn't a bad idea. Doing that before we really upset New Jericho is uh, is probably the best thing for us to do we do need to heal up uh, a little bit here though because we uh you know we have taken some some knocks on a previous mission we're currently working on an odin grenade one thing that i would like to work on is uh, another sniper rifle potentially uh can we yet research the new jericho sniper rifle i don't think we can do that yet because I don't think we have a, a spare one, uh, if I can even see it. So my memory is failing me, and I can't remember what it's called. You are our new Jericho sniper. Yes, you are. And it is the... Oh, it's the Cyclops. Do we have any spare ammo for the Cyclops? I don't think we do. Which is a little bit unfortunate. So we're going to need to be able to... Oh, no, we can manufacture... That's the handgun. Yeah, we've got uh, we've got ammo for the handgun. We could probably reverse engineer the ammo for the handgun. Actually, uh, you do have one spare magazine, which you know you'd actually be better off carrying a grenade. Uh, so can we backwards engineer or reverse engineer? I should say. No, we do not have any spare one in stock. That is unfortunate so maybe we'll pick some extra ones up if we do that mission so we're going to unpause here and let the soldiers that we have on the manticore um sort of heal up in the meantime is there anything that we could be manufacturing now we can manufacture scarabs we don't have the resources to manufacture another aircraft but i intend to try and steal one from new jericho anyway so we probably don't have a huge problem with that I don't think we're particularly short of anything else. It may well be worth getting something like a uh, Goliath grenade launcher. Let's get one of those in production because they can be really, really useful. We'll unpause just a little bit more. We're fully healed now. Um, that recruit that I was thinking about picking up now appears to have gone. Oh, no, it's still there. We just don't have the resources right now. Actually, we do. We do have the resources. Let's just go and uh, hop over there. So we've completed the uh, research for the Oneric Delirium Index. It's an alg the uh, Oneric Delirium Index algorithm has been developed. This will allow us to keep track of the strength of the unknown mental phenomenon caused by the Pandoran presence, which appears to be increasing in severity as they expand their grip on our world. As the ODI increases, more humans will experience nightmares, hallucina ugh, hallucinations, detachment from reality, and eventually brain seizures and death. We have estimated a tipping point for the ODI beyond which the human race cannot be saved. So now we can monitor the ODI. One of the last things that Dr. Randolph Symes III worked on before leaving Phoenix Point was the ODI, an attempt to qualify the unexplained mental influence of the Pandorans. He feared the frequent reports of strange nightmares and hallucinations might be uh, might attribute to something more psychological more than psychological trauma perhaps some form of telepathic attack under different circumstances the idea might have seemed fanciful but even the phoenix project operatives have reported similar phenomena we should complete his research okay so over here first haven info Let's go ahead and pick that soldier up. Does leave us a little bit short on materials, but that's fine. We're now going to head over here and we are going to take on this alien nest. Threat level is medium. We have to locate and eliminate the hatching sentinels to destroy the nest. First one is usually a little bit easier. So let us hop in here. Uh, we have a 
an upgrade for our heavy. So what can we pick up here? We can actually dual class our heavy. That might be uh, quite useful. We might save that one though. Uh, actually, it's probably the best way to go right now. There's not really much point taking either of these. So we can go Assault or we can go Sniper. Uh, both can be quite useful. I'm going to go this Heavy uh, Assault because that'll give us ability to take things like Dash and Return Fire. Having Dash on the Heavy can be really useful for us. So let's go ahead and do that. And we've got the points if we wanted to that we could also take Return Fire. It's not the most accurate of weapon, but you know sometimes you do get lucky with it. Um, actually... This weapon won't return fire because this particular weapon takes three action points to shoot. So we won't use it for now because we need a weapon that we can fire with two action points. So we will save that one for later. So let's bring that back. Um, our technician still uh, isn't proficient with that particular weapon. Can we get a proficiency? Do you have a proficiency for that at some point? You do not, but we may be able to pick that up for you on a dual class. We need to research PDWs. Okay, yep, we will deploy into there. Did we also finish our area scan? Uh, I believe the area scan may have completed, so we will need to start another one. We'll probably head over here to the west to do that. So without further ado, let's go in and start this mission. And here we are in our first Pandoran nest. Like I said, this map is usually relatively small. There are some eggs around. So we can't really see what's ahead of us uh, on this particular map because we didn't come in via air. It's underground, so we can't... Well, we did come in via air, but it's underground, so we can't see uh, what's going on. This is one of the things when, pe when people do discuss the uh, maps and how you can actually see the entire map when, when you arrive. Uh, and the main reason for that is because you come in via the, via the air, so you get an overview of the entire map before you land there. So I can't see anything around this corner just yet. That doesn't, of course, mean there isn't anything around that corner. So we certainly want to keep an overwatch in that direction. Let's try and get one of our uh, soldiers at least over on this side. I see them. Okay, we have spotted an enemy. So we've got ourselves. Well, there is a uh, hatching sentinel right there. So let's go ahead and put our sniper into a position uh, where he can take a shot. Because if we can do significant enough damage to it with our sniper, then uh, we can get this mission over and done with relatively quickly. Because this first one's nice and easy. Now that is going to prepare, which means very soon it will start firing at the... Um, or it'll start hatching the eggs. Uh, we can use the dash on our heavy. So let's go ahead and, and use that. That's not a, not a bad use of it. Uh, we have spotted another enemy... There is a an Arthron round there, but we'll go ahead and take a shot at the uh, at the Sentinel. I wanted to get closer because this weapon is very inaccurate. We got a really solid hit there, which is nice. Now I'd love to be able to take that thing out completely. I don't want it to be able to uh, to hatch any of those eggs. So let's see if we can finish it off with our assault, and we did. So we know we still have that uh, Pandoran to worry about. So let's go ahead and move around here with this assault. And we'll put an overwatch on this area just in case that Arthmon decides to come around the corner. And we will move a little bit further forward with our technician here. You might as well go on to uh, overwatch. Just don't shoot your buddy in the back there. And there's not really an awful lot else that you can do from that position. I could move you forwards, but there's very little reason to do so. So let's end the turn. So we actually have a Triton in there. He was hiding around the corner, but he has scuttled away. He's not coming towards me. Now, this Arthur does have a grenade launcher. We do get an overwatch shot, and lucky for us, it connected. So very happy about that. Let's go ahead and have a look around these corners, see if we can find ourselves anything. So we have spotted an egg. Now there is a reinforcement point here, which means enemies could come from that spot. As yet, we haven't spotted any right, other right, enemies. Right. So let's just try and keep everybody safe for now. Ideally, I'd like to have a third person going in this direction, but we will do what we can. 
Receiving loud and clear. So we know we've got that Triton at the back somewhere. We don't really have a good line of sight on him right now. Let's go ahead and start moving forwards with some of our units. Uh, we have spotted another egg. The eggs aren't a huge concern right now. So we're just going to move forwards. We'll continue to use Overwatch in case that Triton comes back. Most likely at some point I it will. And I think I'm going to run my heavy back in the opposite direction and take him with the Technician and the other Assault. We'll move these two Assaults and the Sniper around on the right hand side. We'll keep some overwatches where we can. I want to try and run the sniper forward to get him in a really good position for the next turn. Prioritizing speed. Okay, let's... Uh, we do have some movement remaining. Or some actions remaining. So we could get some overwatches on here, certainly. And... Um, you also could overwatch. Which direction would be best to overwatch in? That's a difficult one to... Uh, to know let's go for this one because of the reinforcement position and let's end the turn and see what happens so something's moving around right at the back of the map we can hear it that is that triton again i believe now we are getting an overwatch shot oh that was a decent amount of damage actually now unfortunately he just ducked behind the uh the wall there before we managed to hit him with that shot but he has left himself exposed which as far as I'm concerned, he's great news. He's not an overwatch. We don't have anything to worry about from him. We're spotting more eggs. It is why I'm moving forwards in this manner, because I'm trying to uncover anything that may be hiding around the corner. Let's just go ahead and fire at that Triton. That Triton is now dead. So we probably do want to try and take out some of these eggs if we can. We do have a line of sight on some of these. Now, these are mind fraggers. Mind fraggers are quite annoying, but we should be able to take them out, ideally. So, let's finish this one off. Shot went wide. No, not really. It's still hit. There's one egg fewer. Of course, it's not a great use of our ammunition, but we'll do what we can. So I'm tempted to use this assault just to have a little look down here and see if there's anything Moving that we now. need to worry about in this direction. Enemy in visual range. And we have spotted an egg. But it doesn't look like there's anything else in here. Not that I can see. So I think we'll just carry on moving in this direction. And we'll make sure that we utilize our here we go. technician to overwatch, even though he doesn't have the best of aim because he's not proficient with that weapon. Okay, nothing more we can do. Let's end the turn. Oh, we've got one that spawned right behind us there, I think. I mean, maybe behind the wall. We'll have to check that out. It may have just been a uh, a quick UI glitch because it looked like there was something behind us, but there isn't. Nothing there. Okay, well, as you're down, I guess we just continue to move forward and, and take out the eggs where we can. What's our plan? Don't have any particularly great positions for our sniper to do this from, but... We'll continue to creep forwards in this direction, taking out eggs as we go. Haven't spotted any more enemies yet. Great, there's another egg down, and we've got one more soldier to move here. I think I'm just going to uh, sprint you all the way around to the far side. Moving to position. Just to get a line of sight on something. Nope, that's fine. And then we've got... I'm going to leave that egg alone for now. I don't think it's overly important to deal with right now. Target in sight. And we have spotted ourselves another hatching sentinel. It's right at the back there. That's quite a good distance away. Uh, I would like to be able to hit that. Let's go here and make sure that we've got our technician watching the reinforcement point. And I'm going to try and get my heavy as far forwards as I can in the hope that we can get a good, solid shot Let's roll. on that sentinel over the next turn or two. That's about as much as we can do. Uh, we can overwatch with this assault. We may as well, just in case something does come from around that corner. There is something moving on the map somewhere, so it is very likely that there is still a uh, an Arthron or something around. You've just spotted another egg. That's fine. 
Right, that egg now knows we're here. But I'm not terribly convinced that I can hit it. So let's see if we can actually hit the um, the hatching sentinel. It's a long way away still. And yeah, we were very, very wide there. So that is unfortunate. We're, so what we really need to do now is uh, deal with the egg. Can we get two shots of a decent aim? Probably. Didn't manage to take it out on that one. There we go. We did get that one down. Fantastic. And once again... Yeah, I think we're just going to overwatch that reinforcement point there. On this side of things, we've still got another egg that we need to deal with. Uh, we probably want to just bring our sniper forward. Although, once again, he is actually close enough where he could take a relatively decent shot. So, it means he doesn't get to move forwards very much, but it really does help with taking those uh, eggs out. Should be able to finish that off with this assault. Not a problem. Shot went wide. There we go. One egg fewer. And then let's just start moving up and see what we can see with this assault. Okay, doesn't look like we've got too much going on here. A nice wide overwatch cone. And our technician is, uh, yeah, already on overwatch. Okay, I think we're nearly there. I think we just need to finish off that last hatching sentinel. There's definitely another Arthron or a Triton creeping around at the back of the nest. Okay, Mr. Heavy. You can't get very far forwards, unfortunately. But we'll keep creeping up. That was a good shot. And we've got to make sure we take it out now, though, because the problem we're going to have is it's going to start hatching the eggs that are close to it. So let's go ahead and use a dash. Hopefully we're not going to uh, trigger anything else. Just an egg, that's fine. Not bothered about the egg. It's the sentinel that we want to take out. Let's aim here because we'll do more damage. And we've taken it out. Was that the last one? Looks like it was. Excellent. Good. Those are the sort of missions we want. No injuries. Uh, two promotions. Almost a third. That is definitely something that we can live with. And because we destroyed a Pandora nest, we get a little bit of a positive attitude adjustment with all three factions. Unfortunately, we don't really recover any rewards from doing that. But now we have the first the first initiation. A mysterious being known as the, the Apostle to the Onceborn, a servant of the Exalted, has passed by our base, leaving the following message. What is the nature of a human being? Can we change? Is the fault in our souls where it may never be reached? Or is it in these broken bodies of ours? Perhaps the Phoenix Project can be a vessel of change. It is not up to this humble apostle to make such a decision, but I wish you well. May your actions please the Keeper of the Threshold. He will seek you out when you have shown your worth. It looks like we've started working our way up the hierarchy of the Disciples. So the Disciples like us a little bit now. We have also managed to take out uh, one of these um, uh, nests. Now... What I'd like to do, ideally, here is take the... Right, where are we? We have our new Assault, who is at Phoenix Delta. And ideally, we want to get them over to uh, Phoenix Point. But we might need to take them... Uh, we might need to pick them up. Drop somebody off and pick somebody up. Now, I've got a little bit of an issue with our uh, new Jericho originated sniper not being able to carry a reload for their weapon that is unfortunate uh, let's just have a quick look on your equipment there yeah so you you do have a uh, a magazine here you've got one you've got one spare mag for it um and we have we haven't actually made the other yeah we're very short on ammo for him we haven't made that other sniper rifle yet we're still no we're not making the sniper rifle we're making a grenade launcher we really need another sniper rifle then let's queue up a firebird sniper rifle because most likely we are going to need one of those and uh i guess i guess it's fine to actually leave 
did I build a training center here? Yeah, we do have a training center here. We've got some power issues. Uh, do we? No, we still we still we still have power. So that's fine. We actually have a training uh, facility. Oh, that's at Phoenix uh, Phoenix Point. Phoenix Delta is here. We have living quarters. We don't have a training center here. We probably should get one, uh, but we don't have the materials to build one. So that assault is losing out on a uh, on a few skill points, but that's not uh, not terrible. So we're going to head back to Phoenix Point anyway. And then what we are going to do in the next video is we are going to attack a new Jericho Haven. Uh, hopefully stealing their aircraft which will be fantastic for us because it has a higher capacity than our manticore meaning we'll be able to field a larger crew and it should also progress the storyline for the pure and then that'll lead us well into our way to getting some cybernetic enhancements for our soldiers so thank you very much for watching we hope you're enjoying phoenix point with the blood and titanium dlc we will see you on the next video until then Goodbye for now.